Hi, this is Stunny from BorderWork.com, and we're looking at PrintShop 2.0 software here at CES 2010. Uh, the Print Shop has been the number one consumer desktop publishing tool for the last 25 years. It's been one of the longest running and most popular software titles in history. We've launched an all new version, it's version 2.0 this year, uh, with all new software redesigned from the ground up to make it even easier to create print projects for home, work, and school. Uh, one of the great new features that we've added to make it even easier than ever before is the project wizard, which you see on your desktop. Uh, if I just click on the project wizard, I have access to 150 different projects that I can create and print in less than five minutes and often even easier than that. If I select a sign, for example, this one, and I want to turn it into maybe a get well sign for my grandmother, just as an example, I just change the text over on the left hand side. And then I can click on the image to change it out. Right now I'm searching the images that the print shop ships with, but alternatively I can use my own images. And if I just type in grandmother, it's searching uh, the hundreds of thousands of images that are at your at disposal. And if I just select one, I'm ready to print. It was that easy. Or I can open it in the design desk and I get access to the full range of tools. So for example, I can use the drop shadow tool, uh, it's slider tools so I can determine the distance of the shadow, the direction of the sun, as well as the blur to make it look really 3D and realistic. I've got full text tools. I can change the font very easily. This background layer is truly a background so it doesn't get in the way of my design, but I can easily clear the background. I can even use the eyedropper tool to select a color that's maybe in my photo. So that's perfect for small businesses who want to create uh, a line look across their materials. The print shop has become famous because of ready-made templates. So you can also have access to ready-mades. You can see the enormous uh, variety of projects that you do get. If you want to create maybe a family calendar or even a calendar for your small business, it's very easy to uh, just change the size of the template uh, previews here. I can select one that I like, open it up, come to the page preview, tab through the pages of the calendar, decide that maybe I don't like icebergs as much, mm -hmm. delete it out, go back into my images, uh, put in my own maybe family image, just increase the size of it. Family vacation in Antarctica, huh? Family vacation in Antarctica. I can have full customization within the calendar itself. I can add in, uh, you know, if it's someone's birthday, or say the 15th, which is the launch date of the print shop, okay. uh, I can actually put in a photo here, um, be it uh, maybe a birthday cake, whatever. Um, I can add text to the dates. Maybe this is a birthday. So you can just envision you being a small business owner and announcing key dates for your uh, customers or being a, a family with all of the birth dates and anniversaries. We've also got another type of project which shows off the text editing tool, and that is a newsletter. Uh, so if I just take a newsletter and open it up, um, these are actually columns where column one wraps the text into column two. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to turn this into three columns, I drag these over and I can say, add a linked text box over here and it wraps right through and becomes column three. That easy. Nice. I can even add a shape. Let's say I want to add this shape on top of it and I want to fill it with say an image. I can change out this image and I'll do just a really quick one that comes up. I'll do a door. Um, I can move around within this where it's located so that I can center it and have the door here. And then if I right click and say wrap text around object, the text automatically flows right around that image. So you can just envision being a small business owner or working with an organization or a church group, how easy this is to use. Uh, yeah, I, I just I noticed how you guys have just add that easy to use, uh, just natural feature across your whole software. It seems like everything is very accessible and it's easy to manipulate and without much tutorials or anything like that. Absolutely. Um, so if you did want a tutorial, we do have that available. If you just go back to the home tab, 
We've got this website, ideas.printshop.com, and that contains video tutorials for all of the features that I've showed you and more. Mm -hmm. um, and then as an output, you can either print at home very easily, or if you come up to save, you can save it as a high resolution JPEG. This print with this saves as a 300 DPI for offset printing or as a PDF. So you can certainly take it into your local printer and get professional quality printing on your projects. So how long has this software been in development, 2.0 version? Uh, we've been working on this software for the last two years. Two years. Uh, we've done extensive research, including user experience testing. We've watched people try to use the different features, and we were able to make them even easier over the last couple of years. Absolutely. We've got three versions. The basic version starts out at $30. We've got Deluxe, which is $50, and that's for the design enthusiast. And then we do have a professional version that includes all of the features that I showed today, like uh, the and more, including layer management, gradients, drop shadows, and that one is ninety dollars. Okay. So you have a well versatile array for for different kind of types of customers. Absolutely, and they're available at software retailers nationwide: Best Buy, Office Depot, Office Max, Walmart, Target. You name it, it's there. As well as Brotherbun.com. Okay, and you said it's launching on the 15th. Right? The 15th is the official launch date. Oh, the 15th of January. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. This is Tony from BorderWorld.com, and we're looking at the Print Shop 2.0. Thank you.